spectacular. Blackford attacks with confidence on Boris but appeared to backfired by his own words. Ian Blackford was spectacularly slapped down by Prime Minister Boris Johnson after an attack on confidence in the government appeared to backfire. The SNP Westminster leader launched a full-throated assault on Boris Johnson as he used a furious Prime Minister's questions address to suggest Mr Johnson's government is falling apart at the seams and that he is being deserted by his own MPs, advisers, and the British public who he claims do not trust him or his handling of Brexit. But the furious attack on the Prime Minister soon backfired as Mr Johnson laid the SNP's own failures at Ian Blackford's feet in his own response. Ian Blackford hammered, Brexit is hitting the economy hard but the Prime Minister can't even give a coherent speech to business. The Prime Minister's officials have lost confidence in him. Tory MPs have lost confidence in him, the letters are going in and the public have lost confidence in him. He hammered, why is he clinging on when quite simply he isn't up to the job? But the Prime Minister hit back and erupted as he tore into the confidence the Scottish people have in the SNP. He remarked, I might ask the right honourable gentleman what on earth he thinks he is doing talking about party political issues. When all the people of Scotland want to hear is what on earth the Scottish National Party are doing. Mr Johnson went on to ridicule Mr Blackford for both SNP falling in the polls and the issue of Scottish independence collapsing in popularity. The Prime Minister then turned the crosshairs on the SNP's domestic record as he remarked he was not surprised the Scottish nationalists are culpacing in popularity. He said, considering their manifold failures on tax, on education and all the things the people of Scotland really care about I'm not surprised. And I can see some agreement on the opposite benches. The comments follow latest polling which suggests appetite for a second Scottish independence referendum has fallen for the seventh consecutive time as more wish to remain in the Union. The latest poll, conducted by panel base for the Sunday Times, saw 47% of respondents return no to the question, how would you vote in a Scottish independence referendum if held now? Asked after the EU referendum. While 45% of respondents said yes. Just 8% indicated they don't know. In total, 1,781 Scots aged 18 and over were involved in this latest polling. The SNP have been in power in Scotland for 14 years. Meanwhile, in another interview, Nicola Sturgeon vowed to serve a full term as First Minister tonight as she warned her political opponents she would not step down early. The SNP leader vowed to lead the country until 2026, at least, with a blast at her critics after recent speculation that she could quit early. If she remains in post for the next five years she will have spent 12 years in power, longer than Margaret Thatcher and Tony Blair spent as UK Prime Minister. She has proved to be a constant irritant to current Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who is trying to fend off her drive for a new independence referendum in Scotland. In an interview with the BBC tonight she said, It is almost as if my opponents have concluded they can't beat me or remove me from office themselves, so they're kind of crossing their fingers and hoping that I'll remove myself from office. But they are going to be really disappointed because I'm going to be around a lot longer. I was elected seven months ago, having asked people in Scotland to put their trust in me for a five-year term as First Minister. They gave me that trust and they re-elected me. We face serious times as a country and I intend to fulfill that mandate. In May's election, Ms Sturgeon's SNP remained far and away the largest in Holyrood, but fell agonizingly short of an overall majority by a single seat, in a blow to her separatist ambitions. Ms Sturgeon was hoping to hit or pass the required 65-seat mark to give her a stronger mandate to hold a repeat of the 2014 vote against the wishes of Boris Johnson's Westminster government. She was more circumspect in her sit-down with the broadcaster about what she might do after 2026. The 51-year-old said she wanted to be relatively young when I get to the point of contemplating other things. In an October interview with Vogue she revealed that she and her husband might foster children in the future when she leaves politics.